Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFP TV, and for today's field strip, we're going to be taking down a Boberg XR9S. Now, these are kind of strange in that they're kind of a bullpup pistol. They're actually now being marketed as the Bond Arms Bullpup by Bond Arms, the company that's famous for making double barrel pistols, aka Derringers. I've always thought the Bobergs were very cool. They're an unusually complex design, but a reliable one at that, as long as you use one of the approved types of ammunition that comes on a long list inside of the instruction manual. Now, there are some types of ammunition where the cartridge case will separate from the bullet. Just steer clear of what they say not to use and you'll be just fine though. Um, you'll understand why that is here in a second, but they're magnificently well made and well machined guns. Um, it is kind of cool that they're still going to be being made by Bond Arms. Boberg sold all the machinery and tools to Bond Arms, which is cool, especially since Bond is a, a company that's relatively local to me. There may be a, just a few hours down the road, but speaking to their nature as a bullpup pistol, you can kind of see how you load rounds in through the back rather than thumbing them in through the front. And then the round is pulled from the back and rotated up and into the chamber, not unlike an M2HB or a 1919 uh, switch inside of one of those uh, machine guns. They're a stout double action trigger pull, but not incredibly stout. It's at least uniform throughout the pull too. It feels very much like a J-frame revolver. So let's go ahead and do a quick chamber check, make sure that there's no round in the chamber. And it looks like we're good to go. So you'll notice it has this disassembly takedown switch here and then a relief cut in the slide, kind of like a SIG. Pull the slide back to that relief cut, rotate the switch down, and once you have that done you can pull the slide right off there. Now at this point the frame is actually finished. You can see the mechanism here, it's a pretty simple transfer bar running to the hammer. Um, you can lubricate that and oil it uh, according to your desires. Now to take the slide part further down here, you can take a look at the switch. It really is like a 1919 or a PKM or something, just in, uh, instead of pulling from a belt, it pulls from a magazine. That would be cool if they made a model that pulled from a belt though, note to bond arms. So remove this kind of locking block here. It's kind of hard to explain how this works in such a short video, but it basically rides on a cam stud on the barrel. And as it goes uh, back and forth in the slide, that's what rotates the barrel into the locked position. But then you can also pull off the spring and guide here from the rear. Now kind of tilt the barrel upwards and pull up and out. And you can see the locking recess in the, uh, excuse me, in the slide a little bit as well. And there you go, you have a fully field stripped Boberg XR9S. They made these in 9mm. And uh, the 45 version actually was rated for 45 Super, which is very cool. They also made an XR9L, which was a longer barreled version. And the advantage of these was you actually got a long barrel uh, in a very short pistol. So if you'd like to pick up one of these classic Bobergs, check out Proxy Bid. They pop up on uh, their auctions all the time. Also, big thanks to Ventura Munitions for helping us out with our shooting videos, guys. I hope you enjoy these field strip videos. They're quick and pretty easy to make and I like to kind of showcase the mechanical workings of some of the more obscure guns here so really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all next time